Are you ready? Get ready. We are headed to American Defense Manufacturing. We're gonna be out there for four days. Basically, it's Thursday, and we'll be shooting all day tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's gonna be in Clinton, South Carolina. That's considered a major three-gun, and if you're in the area, definitely come by and watch some of the stages. Uh, they do a lot of long range out there as well as part of the three-gun, so if you're used to base stages or shooting out to two or 300 yards, this isn't the match for that. They will take targets out to about 700, I think, and so we're looking forward to a great time. Just pulled up, and we got <laughs> None other than the KB-32. He's got his pooper for his tent. He's sleeping out in the woods at this match. I got some shit He's here. got an air mattress. You, you got some poop in there, don't you? Nah, it's, it's been cleaned out. I think I pissed in it once, but it's got the good old porta potty blue. If you guys don't know who the KB-32 is, you're just missing out. So this is the KB-32 ab stinger, and what he does is he pulls this trailer <laughs> with all of his supplies. I have my big hose. This is my water. See? Watch. He actually fills this up. So he has like, how many gallons of water does that hold? 30. 30 gallons 30 of gallons. water. 28 now. Yeah. Let's go check out the domicile of the KB32 Tactical. This is a good setup, man. That is his air conditioner. Yeah, like his mattress. Nice. Not bad. You even put a sign up for me. <laughs> So we are out here at the Tar Heel, and John has his own phone booth. Here it comes. Hey, it's an arrow. Hey. Wee. And a water. See, and you go in here. All right. So these are John's facilities. And you can take a shit, take a shower. This is the real KB32. I don't. I do the shit right. Yeah. All right, guys. So I got Oscar Campos here. I haven't seen him in a long time, long time. and he was like getting a lot of feedback about this. Oh my god! Genesis 12. This is and like the so holy grail. We're gonna let him try to shoot it. I have not seen a fire single round since I did the video. So we're just taking two mags done by Ron Fuchs. We got like 12 rounds each. Let's see what it does. Let's see what happens. Now this guy can run some guns. Switch the mag. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the trigger as fast as I can. Alrighty. Yeah, last round. Yeah. That's it. Woo. All right, it is Friday morning. We are out at the Tar Heel and we are having a good time. We already got one stage behind us moving pretty smoothly. And we are out to about 600 yards. Let's check it out. Nice. Good job, Oscar. All right. So day one is done. Had a great day. Shot pretty strong, especially with the long range. You know, that helps make up, you know, so doing this long range shooting helps, especially when you're doing a three gun that has natural terrain. All the firearms worked perfectly. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what I'm using, all the gear and everything else. Um, and we'll do that here in just a second. We've got John here. John is doing his nightly thing, which is, I always recommend, if you're going to spend the money and the time and the effort to shoot a major match, clean your firearms the night after you shoot every time except maybe the day when you get done on sunday I hope this is a strong field of open shooters 
And you know, some people are gonna say that three gun is a gear race, but it really depends on the division that you're shooting in. Now, what I have seen is a big trend towards offering two gun division. So you can omit the shotgun if you so choose. This match is one of those. They're also offering a carry optics division. They're also doing a limited division, which is gonna be iron sights on your pistol and only a dot on your rifle. And I almost switched back to that division because I really, really like that division. But the biggest question I get about three gun is what kind of equipment are you running now? Now keep in mind, I am shooting open, so the belts and things like that might change depending on the division that you're in. So as far as a pistol, uh, I am running the Masterpiece Arms, the DS9. It has been an unbelievably reliable pistol. I have ran this all last year. I haven't had a single malfunction with it to date. And all I do is shoot factory PMC, 115 grain. Big shout out to Big Ivy for assisting me with that. Uh, it does have the Trijicon SR01 here. This does have the five MOA dot. It does have the steel grip, not the aluminum grip. Big shout out to the guys over at MPA. They've done a lot in supporting the channel this year and this pistol absolutely runs. Now, before I go on to the rifle, let's talk about some of the gear that I run on the belt with regards to the pistol. So I am running the Red Hill Tactical with the positive retention. Guys, you, this is almost a must have for three gun. You really need a hood so that that pistol cannot come out. And that way you just pull back on it and you still have friction tension on that. Speaking of which, so in open division, you can run 174 or something millimeter magazines. So that enables you to hold about 26, 27 rounds because it is open division. Otherwise, you're gonna be limited to the 140 millimeter length or 145, something like that. And depending on the type of match that I'm shooting will determine my loadout for that. In open division though, there is a limit. You can't just run an unlimited magazine, whatever length. So you guys saw the belt that I'm running. This is the G-Code. This is uh, the operator belt, I believe. Um, and so basically I'm running the G-Code, the RTS wheel, so I can take that off if I like. I'm just running the G-Code magazine holders. I usually have two. Uh, one might hold a shotgun, like a 12 rounder or something like that. Uh, depending on the stage and then I always have three for the pistol so that's pretty much the belt there is an inner belt you're going to want to order with that and you just wear that and then just velcro this on shouldn't have any issues with it moving or anything like that or coming off during the day now as far as my competition AR uh, you guys know that I shoot for cobalt kinetics they are making some unbelievable rifles now this is not the old cobalt kinetics uh, yes, I did change out. Sorry, Aaron. I did change out the muzzle brake. Um, I was running the Pro Comp and some of the other ones, but this is the old standby, the SJC Titan. It is super flat. This one does have a proof carbon barrel. It is 18 because we do have longer range engagements here. And so far, I mean, I've only dropped a handful of, I haven't dropped any shots at long range, but it's taken me you know, one shot, pretty much one for one throughout the match today. There was a couple that gave me a fit, but no issues and I'd rather take that 18 inch with the extra velocity. I'm running 77 grainers. I am running the Hawk Hill data card because of the format of this match being a little long range. So you can see some dope there. That last one only took us out to 367, but it's just good to have a reference card and I just flip it around when I need it. As far as the mount, I am running a spur mount on this and it gives me the ability to be able to run an LRA or anything like that if I want. The optic is a Vortex one to 10 Razor HD. In my opinion, it is probably one of the best LPVOs on the market, period, end of story. Uh, it is a great optic. I do run it with a mill reticle. I can dial it if I want. Uh, typically, everything's gonna be holdovers with the speed at which we're trying to shoot this stuff for three gun, but you do have turrets up underneath these caps. Um, the Vortex throw lever is junk, okay? Uh, it will break on you in a bucket or something like that, so I'm running the uh, MK Machine, this is their Pro Lever. Big shout out to those guys because I had ordered it before this match and it was a little delayed and so uh, they rushed it out to me. Um, the rifle, I did change the charging handle out. This is the, uh, the badass charging handle. Um, it's just a really, really good charging handle, works well. It, the trigger is a Trigger Tech. You guys know that I like that. It's a, a Trigger Tech Diamond. And other than that, it's a factory Cobalt rifle. Love it, works out well. Now here comes the fun one. Let's talk about the shotgun. So you guys know that I just picked up the Gen 12. 
I can tell you for the first time in probably five or six years, I shot the entire day without a single malfunction. Uh, there were a lot of people that were interested in seeing this shotgun today. We actually had another gentleman on my squad with one. He was able to get almost the exact model, but it was an older model and he had a different lower on it. This Gen 12 ran flawlessly. There is a little more felt recoil, but it's not much. And yes, I still have the hollow sun on there. It does the job well, no questions about it, no issues. Uh, the mags ran flawlessly. I did have a 12 as a backup on my belt, but everything else was the big 20 rounders and had zero issues. Uh, what I did, um, just to be safe, um, I actually took Gorilla Tape and I did put it on the bottom of the mag plate because if this were to drop, I just didn't want something to crack or fracture and lose 20 rounds out of here in the middle of a stage. Um, this is probably completely unnecessary, but it's just something I do. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a function, you know. <laughs> Aesthetics don't really matter to me. I just want to make sure no issues happen there. And then what I did was I took a little Kydex clip, uh, did it like that so I can actually just hook it to my belt. So if I had a spare one, I had it with me. As far as the couplers, they work well. Remember, that's going to be Pyro 3 gun. That's going to be Ron. Uh, you can get in touch with him on Instagram and he sells these couplers. They work great. The other gentleman on the squad had those as well. All right, so I haven't gotten ma much match footage, but we're going to have Oscar Campos here. He's going to run through a stage through the woods here. Let's check it out. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Ah. Woohoo! Got it under 100, Good brother! Job, <laughs> Shoot ready! Yep. Stand by! Six three seven two. Six three seven. Shooter ready. Shooter case ready. Stand by.
Oh yeah, brother. Six one one five six one. All right, so ten stages over three days. Mm -hmm. This is Oscar Campos. You guys remember from the video. Yep. Um, What'd you think about the match? Uh, you did have one bad stage. We're yep. not gonna even talk about yep, that, yep. but that wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, um, the stage was fun. I mean, match was fun. I mean, good long range, uh, good variety. You know, I love running shotgun. Yes. Uh, so uh, it it was fun. I enjoyed All right, it. guys, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but it is so important to check your gear. Uh, fortunately, you didn't get a match DQ right, because right. the pistol was empty, but he carried it on a stage, didn't need it, mm -hmm. and the Invictus. <laughs> The aluminum fatigued and broke, so he dropped his pistol. You have to check your gear. Mm -hmm. I've almost gotten gotten like that before with screws coming loose. Definitely red lock tied him, especially with the running that we're doing. Right. But Oscar's a heck of a shooter. I appreciate you helping with some of the videos. Yeah. So, let's go to the award ceremony and see how we do. I'm I'm hoping for a top ten. Oh, I don't know. If it, it. I don't he know if it's possible. I had a really really bad uh, bad luck previous to this. Oscar, what are your hopes? Uh, man, well, I mean, you don't know, right? I mean, just because now that that was a stage DQ on that one, right? Yeah. So I just got zero points on that one. I needed those points. Yep. Uh, so I mean, I had fun. That's yeah. the thing. Just get out and shoot, have fun, and Ray, it was a pleasure shooting with you, man. Likewise, yep. man. Thank you, guys. Take care. Let's uh, let's go over to the award ceremony. All right. So before we head off to the award ceremony, I want to go over a couple things. Uh, first and foremost. Big shout out to American Defense Manufacturing for sponsoring this event. It was an awesome event. Great three gun, great format. Three days of great fun. I mean, they're long days, but they were great stages. Now, with that being said, as far as the equipment, the MPA, the DS9 hybrid ran flawlessly. To date, I've had zero malfunctions shooting factory PMC 115. It was just phenomenal. No questions about it. Pistol work was great. As far as the rifle, Cobalt Kinetics, zero malfunctions, and it pretty much went one for one on the long range. I mean, it made easy, easy work out of long range stages, and that actually is what helped me climb up the ranks. You know, initially coming into this, I was hoping for a top 20, but now after shooting the match, I think a top 10 is realistic, I'm hoping anyway. Had one really, really bad stage, and that gets us to the shotgun. The shotgun, the Genesis 12, ran perfectly with birdshot. I had zero malfunctions. I have over 500 rounds through that right now. And remember, it's substantially cheaper than a dissident, which I saw going down quite a bit at this match. And I don't have to, you know, check shells and use this and use double A's. It'll just eat it and it'll run. Where the issue came in was I had low recoil slugs and then I tried some 1300s. While it worked 90% of the time, it did cost me on one stage. It doesn't like low recoil slugs. And it, to be fair, Genesis did tell me that. And when I talked to Cody, he was like, yeah, I don't know if that'll work too well or not. So just be aware of that. I know it is a great shotgun and I am relieved to actually have a shotgun that works. It's nice to have equipment that runs when it's supposed to. So, so this is the prize table. Time to head home. Had a great match. Ended up finishing sixth place, which I will take in open division. It was a joy having a shotgun that actually ran. And of course, the pistol and the rifle ran well as well. Ended up picking up an American Defense receiver set, their new Ambi set. And so uh, that'll be something for a future build at a later date. I hope you guys enjoyed that review of the Tar Heel American Defense Manufacturing Challenge down in Clinton, South Carolina. I hope to see you guys again. Have a great week. We will talk to you soon.